Hello and welcome to Educator.com's AP Studio Art 2D Design Curriculum. Today we're going to be talking about nature photography, which is a really fun subject for a lot of people. You're probably really eager to do some nature pictures, so let's get right into it. All right, so nature photography includes all types of photography that have a subject matter of nature. So for example, that can include landscapes. It could also include insects. It could be flowers, birds, any streams, anything that is natural that is not man-made but is God-made. All right, so anything that you decide is an interesting subject matter for you that qualifies that way is open for this project. Um, it is a little bit difficult to be edgy as these types of images tend to have a very been there, seen that look these days. So if you've done any kind of photographic research of any kind or you're looking at people's pictures a lot of times, people generally take photos of nature. It's like probably the most photographed subject matter for new photographers. So as soon as people get their brand new DSLR, they always go outside and take pictures of the garden, or pictures of um, birds or trees or things that they see kind of outside. It tends to be one of those things that we qualify as really, really beautiful, which is true. It just makes it difficult for us to get kind of edgy with it. So you're going to have to ha uh, do a little bit of work at trying to make your pictures be a little bit more creative than you have already seen before. Um, Again, it's often considered a cliche subject, but people just can't stop taking pictures of, of nature because it's so beautiful. And I think a lot of natural photography we think is really, really just lovely. It makes us feel a certain way. We kind of come down, right? Like whenever I watch planet Earth, I'm watching all of these sea creatures and these different things. And I'm always like, ah, you're relaxed, right? So I think that's probably why we love to take pictures of it, but it does make it difficult for us to get really fine arty with it. So let's try. We're going to start by looking at a couple of professional photographers who work at photographing nature and making kind of these really compelling, beautiful images. So whenever people take a photography class, probably one of the first things that they ask is, oh, have you heard about Ansel Adams? Because Ansel Adams is the premier landscape photographer for the last several generations. He did all black and white pictures, primarily of Yosemite and Mojave Desert in California, um, but absolutely beautiful, beautiful work of these areas, all large format cameras, um, black and white white, so silver gelatin prints, these really lovely, beautiful images. Um, and you've probably seen his work, and if you've never noticed that you've seen his work, you if you start looking around as you start to shop anywhere, you start to um, walk through different stores or different uh, public places, Ansel Adams' work is absolutely everywhere. So really beautiful work. Start to uh, look him up and do some research or start paying attention as you start to shop around. 